Hi guys, Matt Thomas here at Cedar Rock Studio Guitar Gallery, and today we've got yet another old new guitar. This is a 2009 uh, Santa Cruz, but this is the 1929 D12. So this is actually modeled after the 29 slope shoulder 12 fret dreadnought. Uh, as you can see, it's got the you know, almost OM looking hips that are real sloped over, but it is a dreadnought as a 12 fretter. Now, this is an all haul guitar. So we've got a mahogany top on it over top of some really nice old mahogany. It's all old mahogany. And it's bound all the way around with mahogany with just a subtle little thin black purfling strip to kind of separate from the rest of the mahogany so that you know, oh, it's bound as well with mahogany. Um, now, it has a ebony pyramid bridge, so that older style, but it is not the saddle through pyramid bridge. So that is, I guess, maybe the slight difference here. Uh, a more modern style bridge, but it is quite weight relieved, which actually really helps with this this mahogany top. They tend to be a little stiffer and, and tighter, but this thing sounds phenomenal. Um, now it also has an ebony bridge with, I'm sorry, an ebony fretboard with no dots on it on the face, but you do have some mother of pearl dots that go all the way up to the 17th fret here, if you decide you want to reach up there and get, and get to that over the slope shoulder. Um, now this neck is mahogany with a V profile as a lot of these older kind of guitars were. Um, but it has a wide spec to neck here. So it's actually one and 25 30 seconds or 1.78 inches. Now, I should also mention that to me, this is more of a flat picking forward guitar. And the reason that I feel that way is because it's actually got a two and three sixteenths saddle spacing. So it's fairly thin, um, not always the best for finger style. It can be done. Uh, and most people actually kind of do play on those specs with finger style comfortably. But there's something really special about how close together the picking pattern can be with that spacing. So, uh, and this thing just roars. As an all hall guitar, it's interesting to me. It's got lots of power, but it's got tons of sensitivity too. And the sustain on it is pretty bonkers. Um, now it has a an ebony head cap with just a little bit of kind of sap speckling throughout it, which it could be Indian ebony that kind of gives it that color. Um, with that, I think they refer to this as the H style headstock, if I remember correctly. And to keep with that old theme, it's got Waverly tuners with the Santa Cruz logo on them. So enough about what this looks like and the specs of it. This thing, again, it's shocking how, how unique this thing sounds. And in front of the microphones, it just records so very well. This is probably one of my favorite of the old style builds that I have come across. Um, it has almost a modern sound to it with its dynamic capability, even being an all hall guitar. Um, but there's something very unique of the tone and sustain. It brings out certain things in your playing that keep you searching for something, you know, that you're listening, you're chasing a sound with it. And that's a very inspiring instrument to play because then it makes you want to play more and search for new ideas. 
Um, the, the second I sat down with it, I just kept going, what about this song? What about this song? So I encourage you, if you're into these style of older instruments, and especially 12 fret guitars, which I'm a huge fan of, uh, you should message Alan at cedarrockstudio.com. And thanks for listening.